Maureen G. Mulvaney, or better known to us as MGM. Um, I'd like to read a little bit about what she, um, what she does. Um, this is a time for us muggles to raise the bar and customer are on our customer service for kids. There are certain aspects, aspects of life we will never be able to control, but we can master our own choices and teach our students to do the same. You'll learn every time a student comes in contact with you or your team, it is an opportunity to create value and create magical experiences. You'll learn to promote a happy, safe, and enjoyable school lunch experience for all students and staff as they make healthy food choices and create enjoyable lunch experiences that translate into enjoyable school experiences. Maureen G. Mulvaney, or MGM, presents practical, real-world solutions delivered in an entertaining and engaging manner. MGM is the number one rated school nutrition professional speaker because she is the most passionate speaker on topic of school nutrition on the planet. She celebrates the magic of school nutrition daily. You will laugh as you learn how to raise the bar to create magical customer service for kids who will choose the plate. It's my pleasure to introduce MGM. It is now time for the child chooses our plate, not the plate, our plate. And I'd like to start right in with you, but I've been watching you from the back. That is the wimpiest group of people. I heard you hit director of the year and y'all went. <laughs> this is not working for me. So get them little paws up in the air, you little muggles, and let's just bring it on, bring it on, because today we're going to get right into it, and I have come here, and I want you to take the pledge, because we're here to celebrate you. I pledge. Obviously, you have not been drinking yet, so let's try this again. With a little bit of enthusiasm, I pledge, I pledge. Not, to hold not to hold back any giggles or laughter, giggles or laughter. To, enjoy to enjoy myself, to participate freely, to participate freely. in a childlike manner, childlike. and take one idea, and, take one idea. and use it by noon tomorrow. Now, you never want to waste a good hand raise, so lean over and pat somebody on the back, because, honey, this group does deserve it. San Marcos, I said pat them, not beat them to death. Because let me give you a fact. We're here to celebrate you. They brought me in because I don't just like you. They brought me in just because I don't love you. I adore you. I adore school nutrition professionals. And I've had enough. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. We are saving America one five-star meal at a time. And we act like we're the low man on a totem pole. Step on this group. Yes, 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 yes. And I am sick and tired of us acting like we're low men on the totem pole. Y'all say to me all the time, oh, MGM, you don't know what it's like over in our school. We, they treat us so badly. And I'm going, you got to be kidding me. I watched. They treat us the way we treat each other. We had director of the year come walking his little self up here. And y'all went, Mamby Pamby, hello. <laughs> listen to me. And listen real carefully, you wizards and muggles. You understand Every single chance we have to applaud and appreciate one of our own, you turn it loose. No more mamby-pamby stuff because the teachers are watching us. Everybody watches us. They watch how we treat each other, and then they treat us that way. I'm done. I've had enough. And so now it's time for y'all to turn it loose. So let's try this again. And R Dr. Robert got director of the year. Give it up. the way it should be because I know you come from all over California and what I have watched around the nation is watching us ever since 2010 on the Hungry Kids Child Act and we had all these audits and everything and we just feel like we've been pounded away at. Let me tell you today when you leave we're not being pounded away. You've got to understand who we are and what we do. I will never let somebody disrespect you. I just won't do it. And I will never let you disrespect each other. 
And when I see y'all come back, and sometimes it amazes me, y'all are so fabulous, and sometimes we got our head hanged down, this isn't going to happen anymore. So I'm speaking over in New York. I just came back from a 32-city school nutrition tour around the nation. I am so grateful. I am so grateful. And so I'm doing my seminar. If we had the audience out here. You were all spectacular. I'm up front. I'm speaking. You could be absolutely crazy to think we're not having a moment here. Some teacher walked in the side door. Now, he could have gone around us, did he? He comes right in front of my school nutrition professionals that I think are saving the most important people in the school system, and he walked in front of you? Then this fool made the mistake of walking in front of me. Oh! <laughs> and he went out the other door. I was so taken aback. I said, y'all, what just happened? And they said, what, MGM, that's what we're talking about. The teachers just disrespect us. That was a teacher. Oh, I said, what? Ooh, I'll be ready when the next one comes. <laughs> so sure enough, the next one comes in that door. He goes to do the same thing. I put my little hand up and I say, respectfully, I've been a teacher for 20 years of my life and I know it's tough for you and I know you're probably fabulous at what you do and don't get paid enough. But you see, in front of me are the school nutrition professionals of this school. They are serving fruits, vegetables, whole grains, protein, and milk every single day to your children. One out of every five kids in this district are hungry. That means they can't learn in your classroom. But what they feed them in the right proportions is so dramatic that it is raising your test scores and lowering your behavior problems. And on top of all that, we have the cleanest, safest kitchens in the world. So, sir, let me give you a flash. If you'd like to come eat off our floor, I'll gladly invite you on Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> but until then, I'm going to invite you to walk yourself around my group, or you may sit down and join us. He was from New York. He decided he was going to give me some lip. <laughs> So I said, obviously, I will speak a little louder this time. We have the safest, cleanest kitchen in America. We serve fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk. And we are raising your test scores and lowering behavior problems every single day. And it's up to you to make a decision whether you want to sit down right now and just enjoy yourself, or you can walk around, which would be your, your choice. The second time he walked around. And when, you see, I'm from the South. And we know how to tell you to go to hell in such a way that you enjoy the trip. <laughs> Because we always say, sugar. So he got back there and I said, sugar, would you be so kind as to tell your friends and colleagues, don't come in my side door. And if they do, be prepared to sit down and join us. You think we had a teacher come in that side door again? Not one time. You listen to me and you listen very carefully. I don't just like you. I love you, I adore you, and I want you to start standing up for yourselves in a kind, loving, gentle way. That's why I love Harry Potter so much. He was abused, neglected from the time he was born till he was 11 years old. Lord Voldemort killed off his family, and he was stuck with these, these people that disrespected him on a daily basis, made him sleep behind, underneath the staircase. And this kid grows up to be one of the kindest, most gentlest, wonderful people with loyalty and all the things you'd want every single kid. And that's who we're emulating. So I feel like sometimes we've been that child and it's our time to stand up. So from now on, if you're in your kitchen and somebody comes in, a teacher comes in, they didn't forget to put in their, their lunch order for the bus trip. And so they come in there yelling and screaming and look at what happens when they do that, what the rest of us do. Whew. They're not yelling at me. Good. <laughs> and we go sneaking off. I said, no, 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 no more. I want you to do this. I want you to stand up, shoulders back. I want you to, whoever they're yelling at and the rest of you, I want you to come up from behind them. I want you to put your hand on their shoulder. And I want you to say, I support you. And smile. Don't forget to smile. And then I want the person that's standing in the middle, I want you to say these words. Obviously, you're as passionate about the children as I am. I want you to know I'm a school nutrition professional, better known as a lunch lady. And so what I need you to know is I'm raising test scores and lowering behavior problems every single day. One out of every five kids in America is hungry. I'm feeding them fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk. I serve them in the right proportion so it does good things. And we have the cleanest, safest kitchens in America today. Would you like to come on Wednesday or Thursday to eat off our floors? Yes, 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 yes. 
No more are we going to just go by. No more are we going to be mamby pamby Thank you so much. I do have a magic wand. And so, but what I want you to know is this is our time. From now on, we are going to stick together like glue. And what I say to you, if you have a pom-pom, that's great. If you don't, then shake your hands and stomp your feet. But you're going to shake your pom-poms and say, we're the ones. We're the ones that are going to get it done. Because we serve the food. And we serve the smiles. Come to us. We'll feed you. And make you feel good. Because that's who we are and that's what we do. So from now on, we are not going to be mamby-pamby. I don't want to hear anybody get just a mamby-pamby applause. If we're going to cheer for one, you're going to cheer for all because we're better, stronger together. So get your hands ready, your right hand, and we're going to say you're better, stronger together. We are better, stronger together. We are better, stronger together. We are better, stronger together. And why are we doing this? Because one out of every five children in the United States of America the richest country in the world is hungry. What's wrong with that picture? And we are the only ones. We are the only ones with a solution. The Democrats and the Republicans go at each other every day over health care, and they're asking the wrong question. The question should be, how did we get in this problem in the first place? It's because the United States of America has gotten obese. There's not one state in the United States of America that's not obese. The whole state, up to 25 to 30 percent of the entire state is obese. What happens to your health care when that happens? It goes through the ceiling. Heart attack, stroke, diabetes is out of order. And that's what has happened. The only ones with the solution are sitting in this room. God bless you all because you are serving fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk every single day. Yes, yes, yes. We call that the new meal components, but by now, shouldn't it be the old meal components? Let's get it. And so everybody, please put your right hand up. What do we serve these children every single day? Fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk. One more time, please. Fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk. One more time, please. Fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk. And notice where I put the whole grain. Don't film that, don't film that. I put it there because, oh, MGM, we had the most trouble with whole grains. And so now we're going to do this great seminar, and all y'all are going to say is, you touch my cart, I'll whole grain you. I'll whole grain you. <laughs> That's what y'all do. But you've got to understand, we are here to celebrate you because you are changing lives every single day. One out of every five kids in the United States is hungry and you're the only ones with a solution, serving them fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk every single day in the right proportions. Every single teacher in America should know that we're raised test scores and lower behavior problems. This is just not me making it up. This is factual. And yet, I'm the only one talking about this. It's time for us to know we have the cleanest, safest kitchens in America. And if you want to make extra money, go on over to Chipotle. They obviously don't have a clue over there what to do. So they're in trouble every single day in the news. And so what you've got to do when we serve fruits, vegetables, whole grain, protein, and milk, raise your hand if you think that is the right thing to do. Is it the easy thing to do? No, but it is the right thing to do. So we never just do the easy thing. We always do the right thing. So why do we do what we do, everybody? Because it's the right thing to do. Why do say it like you mean it? Why do we do what we do every single day? Because it's the right thing to do. Why do we do what we do every single day? Because it's the right thing to do. And how are we going to get this big job done? Better, stronger, together. How are we going to get this big job done? Better, stronger, together. How are we going to get this big job done? Better, stronger, together. So when we work together and we do this right, I guarantee you everything changes. So we've got to get it in our heads that we're doing this better, stronger, together. Because Harry, in, when he went to Hogwarts, he learned from Professor Dumbledore, the headmaster of, of um, uh, Hogwarts, he learned, Dumbledore said to him, it's our choices, Harry. 
that show what we truly are more than our abilities. The choices we make make a huge difference in what we do with our kids. And what Harry learned at, when he went to Hogwarts is the fact that you had no control other, over the people and other things, but you have total control over the choices you make. And we've got to make some different choices. We've got to choose all the gossip that goes on because what happens is we go out into our small communities and we're mad about something and we tell our friends. So they hear that as gossip. They don't think that we get along. And that's not true. We are the salt of the earth. The people in this room are saving America one five-star meal at a time, period, end of story. You are seriously the most important people in the school system. I don't, I don't talk to teachers. I certainly could because I was one of them. But I talk to you because you're the only ones, in my opinion, that are making a difference. Saving America one five-star meal at a time, every single meal you serve saves one kid if they take that meal. And so now it's gonna be how are we gonna get them to take our meals? And we're gonna learn from Harry because what we're gonna to do today is watch and, and master our own choices so that we can show our children the choices that will be made for them. Your choices will help your muggles, your students, choose our place.